All right, what's up, everybody? We are on season four, episode 12 of Attack on Titan. Actually, like, I can't believe how fast we're already approaching the end of the first half of season four, or uh, sorry, first part. <laughs> it's not a half uh, anymore, but uh, yeah, like, this is the thing. The, the past couple of episodes, especially the most recent one, have been a lot to take in for me as somebody who is very sort of analytical and um, I try to take in every single scene and like really understand the meaning of it and stuff. It's I, I can I can understand like these might not be the episodes that will be uh, getting the most views necessarily, for example, right? And that people will be searching for and stuff because they're obviously searching for the big ones with the, you know, like uh, as we saw, you know, in like um, episode five, six, seven and eight or something of this season, right? Where you had that fight back in Marley taking place and stuff like I know those are going to be the ones that people really sort of look forward to and stuff. But at the same time. It's these kinds of episodes that we got just recently that, for me, they make Attack on Titan stand apart from so many other shows out there, right? Because they are the they are the episodes that truly add the depth, and um, yeah, that bring things to the next level, and that I can only really appreciate. At the same time, and that's the thing I talked about it in the review that I just recorded for the previous episode. Uh, it's very hard for me to to sort of yeah like do reactions to them because it's just like so much to process at the same time right and um i always find myself in this weird predicament where <laughs> i'm still kind of figuring out what one scene was supposed to say or what you know what it was alluding to or something while the next one is already happening <laughs> you know that's that's definitely something that i i uh, have been learning to sort of um do but at the same time you can never fully master i feel especially again with the pace that this show sometimes goes at in terms of all the information it's uh relaying over to you yeah that being said i'm very excited to dive into the next one here called guides um obviously there's just a lot of different uh storylines at the moment that are being laid out and where it's very hard to tell what they are trying to lead to with it right and the biggest one there is obviously uh you know kind of like what the plan is for Aaron and Zeke especially and where that's gonna go last episode ended on a huge tease where it seems like the people from Marley are actually coming back with a surprise attack on uh well surprise attack that's that's kind of the question they see it as a surprise attack because they figured that Zeke figured that they wouldn't come and actually do that <laughs> but at the same time uh this is what I then at the, you know kind of like wonder about does Zeke actually think that? Or does he figure that, like, is he playing literally 4D chess with them and figuring out that, like, oh, this is what he doesn't see coming, so this is actually what they're going to do? You know what I mean? <laughs> it's what I kind of wonder about. And maybe that's been Aaron and Zeke's plan all along or something, right? It's kind of, again, like, that's kind of the question. Um, last episode was also great because it... Um, yeah, like very much focused sort of on, on Gabby and Falco and, you know, Gabby going through a very similar experience once again, kind of figuring out like who these people are. And she sees herself very much still as like a good Eldian, right? And she sees all the people here on Paradise Island as the devils. Um, yeah, but at the same time, of course, she's going through this experience now where she's been uh, with Sasha's family. And uh, she's learning about this, this girl that Sasha had rescued, Kaya, I think she was called, who was talking about... Um, you know, how her mom got killed back in that village, back in season two. And uh, yeah, she didn't deserve that either and stuff, right? And it's like, again, it's so similar. The parallels are so evident. Um, yeah, once again, I can't praise it enough. And uh, I think for the most part, you know, of course, I did a review after the previous episode. So I went into everything there and it was a lot. Uh, I'm just super excited to dive in here. And so that's what we're, uh, we're going to do. Going to dive into this next episode, of course. The next eight episodes after this will already be up over on Patreon. So over there, we will actually be on episode 20 by now. V actually getting very close to the uh, end of the show. I got, you know, For now, of course. Um, but yeah, that's linked on top of the description, of course. You can go check that out right now if you want to, along with full-length reactions and OVAs. But for now, let's dive into this new episode of Attack on Titan called Guides. Oh my god. Yep, we still have that storyline left as well. Oh, Hitch looks a little different too. <laughs> oh my god. 
Oh, and it's panicking like hell. Man, I can't, yeah, I fo totally forgot about Annie, even though we saw her. Teased a couple episodes back. Man, the way they're bringing all these things from the first and second season back, it's like, man, it really was a prologue, wasn't it? <laughs> I feel like this show is a time bomb right now. And I'm just waiting for the boom. Uh. Wrongfully? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. This is why they detained Flock and stuff too. Oh shit, okay, that's seizing on an opportunity, I see. Okay, but these guys might have some- yeah, I don't know. Okay. それ yeah, please tell me, what are we witnessing? Well, yeah, that I basically figured. Yeah, okay, that's fine. うまい嘘のつき方を知っとるか。時折事実を混ぜて喋ることじゃ。ハハハハ。オッケー、そう、イドズンブリーブ。この5人を呼んで我々を疑うなんて正直失望しましたよ。ああ、this <laughs> <laughs> なんで、エルディアの未来を使い合ったのに。何ですかえ家長がエレンと密会したことを認めかすいませんでしたよ。本当に。家長がそんなことするわけない。とは言わないんだね。彼女なら互いに疑心暗鬼になりうまくまとまらなかったその度に彼女は自ら手を汚すことでジークさんや組織への忠義を示してきました神職を共にした友であっても変だなえ彼女は平成家に反発してまでもあれへんの人権を譲らなかったオ
I remember when this guy was like torturing that other person and getting way too much enjoyment out of it. What? Oh. Yeah, that's the thing, because they have vaccination stuff now too, so they can technically choose anybody for it now. I was wondering what something especially about these guys. What the fuck just happened? Who was that flying out? Oh, Zachary? Are these guys somehow with Aaron who caused this? Yeah, he's laying here dead. Oh my god, this was literally like an assassination. <laughs> this is getting too real, all this stuff. Oh my god, we're getting an uprising. This is just getting out of hand. Oh, okay, so maybe the soldiers weren't in on it. シンペイに運ばせたと相当は申しておりました。どこの新兵だ。相当は新兵とだけ。しかし僕と三笠は相当の部屋を訪れる前に本部から立ち去る新兵を見ました。調査兵団です。エレンの情報を外に漏らして
。我々は従来通り、地ならしの実験を見守り、これにエルディアの存続を委ねる。それでは確認。クレイズ。大変見苦しいものをお見せしました。いや、シーシスウェットセンガーヘア。どの国も通った道だ。<笑>あなた方の安全も絶対とは言えませんが、どうか事態の収集まで港でお過ごしくだされ。ミカサ様。何かありましたらすぐに私どもの船までお逃げください。清美様のお心遣い、感謝いたします。しかしながら、私はエルディア人ですので。何をおっしゃいますか私どもがここに来たのはあなた様のために。しかし、言がなくてもですか地ならしさえ成功すれば、というお互い。Okay, okay, she's finally revealing to her that like。地ならしの力が本物でなければ。ヒーズル本国からははしごを外されることでしょう。Really、今でも投資も水泡と騎士、アズマリトケは最後を迎えましょう。ただ、ミカサ様の母君が残された一族の誇りまで失ったわけではございません。この国がどうなろうと、あなた様だけはお守りいたします。まさか相当を殺したエレンに協力するなんてな。実際どうなんだよ、ミカサ。<笑>私はアルミンはあの爆発に巻き込まれるところだったと言った。Yeah, I was actually gonna say that, like they got lucky, apparently. ピクシー司令の言う通り、エレンとジークに委ねることに問題はないと考え I mean, they don't seem to have much of a choice. それは良くない。ジークやイエレナによって仕掛けられた保険が効果を発揮してきている。Dude, ジークは ready for everything, apparently. 他にもまだあると考えるべきだ。Again, same with those people coming in to attack them. 彼女が守ったマーレジン捕虜の労働環境が怪しい。例えば、レストランとか。Oh, here we go. Which is where they were sending Gabbins. Yep. よかったな、お前たち。今日はうんとくうときなさいよ。It's all coming together, guys. The music is indicating it already. 平坦なやつはそう少しな。Is it peak? Yep. Oh my god, what an episode, man. This is just, I don't know, this is getting absolutely batshit insane. <laughs> Let's go to the review, guys. Man, this was some House of Gods type of stuff.、Uh, <laughs> it's still, it's just so crazy to me how every single time this show manages to.、Um, Yeah, I don't know, to surprise me still, right? Because, like, suddenly now, this episode, it just turns into a full on political drama, full with, like, assassinations,、uh, defections.、Uh, it's, it's just absolutely insane. And, yeah, it's funny because I gotta say, in the very beginning here, when that、uh, conversation was happening between Elena and、uh, Pixus, like, I wasn't even, you know, I was just taking everything in and I wasn't really even sure. Um, what it was all leading to. It seemed like a relatively slow episode there in the first half of it, I gotta say. But as you, as I should well know by now, it's always the calm before the storm and stuff, right? And like things are gonna start coming together. Yeah, and then there's that sudden sort of like assassination attempt, or attempt, I mean, it was a successful one,、uh, on Zachary. And、uh, it, it all makes sense. It all makes sense to me because like, Yeah, basically, it, and it's again like all these scenarios and situations, you don't even really consider them. But, like, yes, now that uh, uh, the, the military police and stuff, right, and they, pos they possess these, these injections, they can just use that on their own people now if they want to. And for a long time, or I remember when that was first shown to me, at first I'm like, okay, but why would you even need that in the first place? I remember specifically asking the question, why would you need that? You're not going to turn people into titans, right? Oh, wait. Yeah, of course you're gonna do that. You're gonna do that to literally carry over the Titan powers. And that's something that for some reason I hadn't considered anymore.、Um, but they are basically now in this exact same situation. <laughs> Once again, this is where the parallels come into play that、uh, Marley used to be in, where they have to constantly, or actually still is, where they have to constantly pass these powers down. Because again, these are their assets and stuff, right? And like, this is what they want to keep. And if they don't actually、uh, carry these things over and the people. Who have these powers just die eventually or something.、Um, yeah, then there's no telling who will end up with the powers and stuff again, right? So it's actually really genius how it's showing us all these factions, yeah, dealing with that knowledge and having to use it strategically 
to their benefit and stuff. And so what now Aaron had basically figured is like, okay, they don't trust them anymore. So they're thinking about, okay, who could actually take over the founding Titan powers now and stuff. And uh, obviously that's not something that Aaron right now at least is interested in, uh, <laughs> you know, just handing off and, uh, and for him to die there and stuff, right? Um, so this is why he had to literally just go rogue and separate himself from everybody. Along with, of course, the, the couple of people that were on the same page as him which is obviously Flock and then a couple of his people. Um, yeah, and, and you know, like, again, now it's kind of the question, like, okay, is he, is he working then together with uh, Yelena or something? St you know, again, like, still, that's what I'm kind of figuring out on the spot, right? Like, we, we, we learned basically about Yelena and her history and everything, and that, you know, there's clearly shady stuff with her going on, but to what extent? That's really the, the, the question and stuff, right? Um, man, what else can I, can I, can I talk about? So... Basically, at the very end, yeah, that's the thing too. Pixis, you know, initially when Pixis is saying it, like, okay, we actually have to work together with him. I'm finding that crazy and I'm just laughing about it. I'm like, he's joking, right? Because this is how I know Pixis to be, kind of. He's he's always kind of been sort of a... Uh, well, he's been a, a great leader, I always thought. But at the same time, he's the type of person that would joke about this type of stuff in a, in a heated moment. But it makes sense that he's basically figuring that, like, well, the only choice that we really have is just, like, to say then goodbye to these... Uh, yeah, these people that actually wanted to have Aaron, uh, uh, again, just, like, pass off his power. That's not really an option anymore. All we can do is just use the assets that we have, which he figured are... Zeke, of course, who they have locked up in that forest, and um, Historia, who they have, who's of royal blood and stuff, uh, and, and she's apparently in some type of like undercover location, and we can use them to then negotiate with Aaron again in the future. But then obviously the question is, well, where does it all lead? And the one thing that they clearly don't see coming is what was teased to us in the past episode, which is that Reiner and... Uh, uh, and all the people in Mali are about to come in for a surprise attack. So all of this is going to collide together. And it's just like, this is what we've been waiting on, right? Because again, the past four episodes basically have been what you could describe as like slow maybe. Or they're just, they've been build-up episodes, you know what I mean? And it's like, we're just waiting for that, uh, that, that, that clash to happen. And that clash is clearly about to happen here now. I love the way that they did the music there at the very end and how it was all just coming together. And of course, there's still the storyline, uh, which was delved into a lot last time with um, with with uh, Gabby and Falco, where we now see that, like, okay, that, um, like, what was it there? Um, I, I literally have to just <laughs> browse through the episode here to make sure that I get it right. But, like, um, they want to actually... They've, some of these Marlian prisoners, they had them actually work in these restaurants or something, right? And this is now where Gabby and Falco are actually going at this very moment. And so we already figured that some of those people there were trying to maybe poison people or something as well. So <laughs> everything is coming together right now. And the question then is, you know, like, uh, obviously, what is it going to lead to? The episode as well, you know, started with that scene with Armin. And that's still what I do wonder about as well. You know, we have Annie still here, who is also... You could say, I guess, an asset or something, I guess. I mean, what what is she g still going to um, come back and play for or something, right? Like, that's that's still the big question. How are they going to, um, how, how are they going to basically, yeah, uh, proceed with, with that particular storyline eventually is a, is a big question. But like, Armin was really afraid there that Hitch, who was part of the military police, wasn't going to allow him anymore to have access to Annie over there. Um and I wonder why that is. Like, I still wonder, like, where are Armin and Mikasa at in all of this? Have they secretly still maybe... Um, because, again, like, they seem in such a separate role now suddenly, right? And, and I still ask myself the question. And this is also why I found it interesting how, um, even though the military police and Zachary and stuff, they don't trust Eren anymore, they st he's was still completely fine with allowing Mikasa and Armin to enter his room. Um, which... They should, I mean, they should know that these are like literally, they always used to be best friends and stuff, right? And so I do wonder, like, do they possess particular information that, um, that, yeah, again, that, uh, uh or basically have they talked th things through with Aaron that we haven't seen or something, right? Or not? Are they truly, like, in the dark here about everything and, like, just as clueless as basically everybody else, including me, is? That's, that's another thing that I kind of then ask myself, right? Um, yeah, and at the same time, I mean, that's just like how deep this whole story goes. They basically, again, they keep talking about how Zeke must have had a lot of this stuff sort of planned out. And again, he seems to have set 
a lot of this stuff up together with Yelena, uh, which they are now figuring out, then the question is still like, is Zeke also expecting those people from Marley to actually come in, in here with the attack? And what, what will that mean? So many questions overall in this episode. The only thing I can say is that like, again, just seeing what the show constantly manages to sort of turn into, and it's something different every single time, you know, one time it can be a super emotional character driven thing and then now it's like this full on political intrigue uh, uh, uh <laughs> we you know we, we have all these great parallels when it comes to assassinations but uh also of course the rumbling which is still at play here and, and, a, and a huge um yeah like like something that's basically at stake uh which is so easy to compare to like again nuclear bombs and stuff right but and, and yeah, we have defections and just, man, it's absolutely insane to me. And realizing as well how all of this has been laid out while keeping, you know, while basically keeping all of this stuff already in mind when starting at the very beginning and seeing how storylines from back in season one, season two are coming back into play is an accomplishment that like, I, I can say that easily, right? But again, I have repeated this plenty of times. I've never seen a show be this well laid out and structured and planned out from the very beginning and seeing how it all comes together and that it makes so much sense and being you know at the same time having these parallels to the real world and being so relatable even though it's its own uh you know like it has many realistic elements also many sort of fantasy elements and stuff right with the titans and stuff obviously but like it's still super comparable and easy to uh, relate to from a real world perspective and that's what makes it all so genius it's uh yeah this was again one of those episodes that like i i talked about it in the intro i feel where some of these past couple of episodes they're easily going to be some of the most underrated ones because i'm sure they're not the ones necessarily being looked up by people or talked about by people uh or that will get the most views on youtube when it comes to reactions but these are the episodes that truly set this series apart from everything else in my personal opinion and then it is obviously the the true clash episodes that i'm sure are about to be coming up here as we're approaching the end of this first half uh that will have that much more impact because all of this came in advance and because this is how they had set everything up and this is why you care about those situations actually happening then and stuff right so Man, absolutely can't wait to dive into the next one. But for now, of course, I want to thank you all for tuning in. The next eight episodes are already up over on Patreon. So over there, you can check out up until episode 20 right now. Make sure you go do that. Linked on top of the description, of course. Your support is very much appreciated. And along with that, you also get full-length reactions if you want to watch the entire episodes along with me, as well as OVAs. But for now, I want to thank you all for tuning in. And I look forward to diving back into the next one. Thanks for watching, everybody.